Okay, so this video is going to show you how to find the correlation coefficient, uh, find the linear regression using Excel. This is just one of many pieces of software that will do this for you. The first thing you need to do is plot your data. So you just click and drag over your data, go to charts, choose scatter, and just choose the first one. And just make this, just move it. And then just drag it to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. Now we don't need this, so delete that. Now as you know by now that any graph should uh, have its axes labeled, which I don't have here. So if I go to chart layout, I can see axes titles. And then you just go ahead, choose whatever you want. And you can see down here it gives you a box. Just click and delete whatever in there and type what you want. So I want hours spent studying. Enter. Oops, just click off. And then I want to do my vertical one. The vertical one has a few more choices. Um, I think I'll do this one. You can see that one goes sideways, but you can choose whatever you like. And I want maths SAT score and just click off it. So now I have my axis label, so that's good. I'm not going to lose any marks in the communication department there. Now the next thing you'd want to do is you probably want to know, work out, you want to draw the line of best fit on and you want the computer to tell you what uh, the correlation coefficient is and you also then want to um, get the equation of the line of best fit. So in Excel, it's called a trend line. So still under chart layouts, you go to trend line. Now, if I just click off again, this looks reasonably linear. It looks like a pretty good correlation. So I'm going to choose linear trend line. So I just go to there and you can see it's drawn, but it doesn't tell me anything. So if I right click on the line and choose format trend line and go to options, of course, you can play with these just uh, aesthetic options. And down here, the problem with Excel is it won't show you what the correlation coefficient is, which is R, but it will display R squared. So then you would just take the square root of that to um, find out the correlation coefficient. And it will also display the equation of the line of best fit. So if I choose OK, it displays it. You can move that any way you like. And... Uh, there you have it. So I can see, if I make that a bit bigger, oops, well, it doesn't want to move. I can see here that my R squared is 87, oh, sorry, 0 0.87162. And if I grab my calculator very quickly and take the square root of that, I am going to get 0.934 to three significant figures. So that's a uh, a pretty good correlation and then you can see here you have the equation of that line now remember when you're doing your project the first time you do this you must do this by hand but you can also once you've done it by hand you can do this as a check of course if you have to do it a second time then you can just do it entirely using the technology um, and then of course there are various options that you can choose to make your graph look um, nicer you can uh, change the grid lines, so I might want some vertical grid lines. You can change the scales, of course, so you can go to axes. And uh, axes options normally the best one. And choose how much you want to go up by. So on my x-axis, I'm going up by fives. And uh, that's okay. Maybe I want to, and again, you have the same options for the vertical here you might want to, instead of going up by 100s, I might say I want that to go up by 50. And you can see that's the scale has changed there. So you can change your scale to whatever you like. It's always a good idea to make sure um, this is quite reasonable. If the, your data points are close together, you want to show more numbers that will spread the points out a bit and make it easier to see. Um, and then, of course, you can put a chart title on that sort of thing. And you have other formatting issues in terms of uh, factors that you can change here in terms of color and that sort of thing. Okay, hope that's some help. Good luck.
Bye.